So we want to explore today who Jesus really is. That he didn't end on the cross and he didn't start in the manger. In fact, as we've already said, Jesus didn't have a beginning. In the verses that we've just heard, it says that he was before all things. What's that getting at? Well, let me tell you what it's getting at is it's saying that Jesus has always existed as part of the Godhead, the three in one, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Jesus is the Son. It means that before creation took form, he was there with the Father and Spirit. And in the verses that we've just heard, we've heard that through him, all things were created. It's amazing, isn't it? So Jesus wasn't just an onlooker. When the world started to form and everything in the universe that you could possibly imagine, when it started to come about and was being designed, Jesus wasn't just looking on, he was part of it. He was part of the design. He was part of creating all things. That's what these verses tell us, that all things were created through him. But it also tells us that all things were created for him. What does that mean? Well, actually, you could say that the whole of creation and everything in it, that Jesus is, is almost the aim. He's the goal of creation. In the Father's heart, the aim is that the whole of the universe and all things in it would bring glory to Jesus. This baby boy that we celebrate at Christmas or the one that we remember on the cross dying at Easter. All of the world, all of the universe designed to bring glory to him. And then lastly, in these verses, and this is amazing when you think about Jesus in the manger, that all things hold together by him. That means every part of the universe, and it goes on for a very, very long way, let me tell you, that if Jesus stops holding it together, it's no more. This baby boy that we remember at Christmas holds so much power and authority that the whole of the universe is held together by him. And so when we're thinking about why are we celebrating, who are we celebrating this Christmas, we have to go back to creation. And we have to remember that Jesus was before creation, that he has always been. And through him, creation came into existence. For him, creation came to be. And all things in creation hold together by him. Wow, this is who Jesus really is.